Today's video is all about this channel. I'll discuss the disaster fallen on Grand Columbia and the awesomeness of the numbers and what my plans are for the next few months. I'll tell you what you can expect in the next series of videos, which will also be the next season, season 11. Yes, season 11, how time flies. My name is Lauren Lau, and this is my adventure in Grand Columbia. First, the bad. And as bad goes, this is bad. I woke one day to find my laptop had rolled over and died. It coughed a bit of smoke, and the canaries circled it until it expired. I took it apart again. Now understand that for most people in most situations, a laptop is typically good until it no longer can keep up with the times. It gets too slow. This is typically five to seven years. But when you're editing, you're lucky to get two years out of a laptop. And why is that, you ask? The curse to any computer is heat. That's why you see all sorts of cooling pads and fans in the aftermarket. And the thing that you do that will generate the most heat? Yeah, editing videos. So back to my laptop. I could not get it to awaken. The power light was permanently off. So far in the past two years, I've lost several keys on the keyboard that I struggle around already. I also had a hard drive fry, but in doing so, it created other issues with heat. While I installed a new hard drive, the computer didn't want to load up uh, the windows and it took me nearly a week to get it going after I installed the drive and now here we are in the present as I said I took it apart when I did I found the battery had puffed out like a puffer fish or it was puffed like a corn pop or it was puffed out like a my pillow in other words the battery was bad so simple right you just get a new battery and move on well, not so fast. It's an internal battery, by the way. You must take everything apart to get to it. You can't just unclip it from the outside. But when I looked up the part number, I checked the Mercado Libre. That's the go-to website for buying things here. It was out of stock. Every single vendor, which were dozens, showed out of stock. And the soonest one would be 45 days, but no promises. But you say I have backup? Yeah, I created a backup desktop. But it's really a place to transfer critical information so I don't lose it like last time. And I can do a live stream with it, but editing on it's a very sad joke. Now, desktops don't have the same heat issue, but it's so slow during editing. I mean, I can go shopping while I'm waiting for the next step. It takes, I would say, at least six times as long. If I have an edit project, it might be for a few days. It's now more like a week and a half. But during this time, there's endless delays, and it's a living nightmare. Now, a friend came to the rescue, found a battery in the U.S., and is shipping it to me. In fact, it should be here by Monday. Possibly today, but more likely Monday. Uh, so all is well, right? Well, not necessarily. I don't know why the battery decided to explode. I mean, it could be the battery, but two years would be unusual for this. It's more likely that something else bit the dirt and consequently fried the battery. However, without any real equipment, I won't know until I get the new battery. So right now, I'm really hoping that the overheat issue took out the battery and all will be well. Yeah, I did inspect it closely. I mean, I checked the power supply, too, and all the things that someone will likely message me about. But here we are, fingers crossed, wondering if I will have a future for at least the next few months. I mean, with the cost of driving, insurance, a bunch of other things, it will be some time before I can afford the right kind of laptop. So that's the bad. Now, what's the good? The good is the progress this channel has made recently. Right now, we have over 727,000 views. 
subscribers are nearly to 3,000. Yeah, I know that's a low number for a five-year channel. But considering that I'm not that talented, not the most handsome guy, and a narrow interest topic, I'm actually quite pleased. In the last 28 days, the views are about 14,000, which is way up. And best of all, the revenue is up. Now, earning $108 in a month may not rock your world, but it means a lot to me and to the channel. I mean, I don't even get a payout until the total reaches over $100 for a month. So that means you have to hit $100 in a month. And it's, it's a rare and welcome change that I actually did. Now, my most watched video is from February 2017. It's got over 101,000 views. And it's made a total of $109. Yeah, it took me two and a half years for that video video to pay out $100. If you're going to do YouTube, be prepared to dedicate over 40 hours a week and earn pennies on the hour. Looking at the revenue for the past six months, you can see it's been steadily rising. You know, much of that is because of the lifting of the lockdown and people are once more thinking about traveling. Now the top countries. The top countries on my channel for number of views is at the top, of course, USA. Now, the second is Ecuador, but many of those were originally in the USA and have been watching my channel so long they're now in Ecuador and still watch. After that comes Canada, and then Colombia, India. There's actually a total number of countries with viewers, it's over 50. Now, let's look at the age and gender. This may surprise a lot of people. First, I found gender is never accurate. As many couples use one account, often it's the husband's. So that number doesn't mean much. But the age, that's very interesting. Contrary to assumptions, viewers are evenly spread from 25 to over 65. It's only slightly higher for the ages of 55 to 64, which makes sense as these are generally retirement planning viewers. Now it's time to plug the merchandise. <laughs> I know it can be annoying, and I do a lousy job of it. Honestly, I usually forget when I'm doing videos. I do want to mention I'm removing the old-style Coffee Time logo in about a week. The Art Deco style, like on this shirt, is much more popular. Now, everything is back in stock. For a while, some items were not available during COVID lockdowns. I currently have a ball cap coming with the Grand Columbia logo so I can wear a hat with headphones. It doesn't work very well when I'm wearing my Colombian cowboy hat. Now, take a look at this. Maybe this can be my next t-shirt order. I don't know. Now we're down to it. We're going to talk about the future. The car I bought has been sitting since I bought it. And I got a new battery, but you know, over the six months, that died. Now, I got that recharged. The people who sold it to me came over, picked it up took it back to the shop, recharged it, brought it back to me, and it's good to go. I'm going to be sending the car out for a few things to be taken care of. Mostly, I've got a slight power steering hose leak. Sitting is not good for any car, but looking it over, it seems to be okay. I also need to finish my license ordeal. It's, it's, been, it's, it's been a thing, and that will be sometime in November. After that, the car will be ready, and I'll be ready to begin some road trips. But my first trip is coming up in about two weeks. I'm going to Bucaramanga by bus. I'll be leaving on the 22nd, staying in Bucaramanga from the 23rd to the 28th. So I'll be back in Armenia on the 29th. You're wondering what's, what are those extra days? I'm taking the overnight buses. So I go from here to Ibage. Uh, then I get on the overnight bus from Ibage there um, the, that next morning I'll be getting the hotel and coming back it'll be the same. I hope to get enough material for about seven videos including you know taking the buses there's a famous national park there I'm really excited about seeing as well of course the city itself. This has been years in coming for me I mean I've talked about it recently but I've wanted to go there for years. The best part for me while it isn't a cheap trip the largest cost, the hotel, is sponsored by a viewer with his mileage points. I'll be staying in the Hilton. That will be a shock, as usually I gotta travel on a few dimes and stay, 
and stay in various holes in the wall. This time, I'll be riding high. <laughs> Beyond that trip, I plan to go to Medellin next, probably late November or December. I may possibly be meeting up with some viewers and doing a collaboration video or two. All of these things I'm actually having conversations about. Other future plans are some maybes and possiblies as well. I have a long time, about 12 years, an uh, Ecuadorian friend. We may, possibly, potentially, partner up on the video production process. It's kind of her profession. I have a three-path option, actually, for this channel. First, I could quit. I mean, I've done it for five years. I could just call it a day, but then what would I do? I mean, I enjoy it, and it keeps me busy and in touch with others. And I'd miss you guys. Two, I can continue as I am. And three, I could make this a real venture. I mean, I've kind of envisioned it. Number three option would mean making four times the money I bring in right now. I'd have to pay someone for some professional effort. I currently, on a good month, bring in about $200 in total. Now that's from the YouTube that I just showed you and various contributions. I would need to raise that to about $800 a month. In other words, four times what I'm doing now. On the other hand, the result would be more consistency, much better quality, and more focus on specific information. While it's now based on my life and experience, it would expand to be more of a how-to. Part of my plan to fill that deficit is offering a service, as I've, I've talked to you before, to show people around, use of the car, using my extra bedroom as a place for visitors to stay. I've got this place with that in mind. I really would like to have help to make the videos more storytelling and entertaining. I mean, as you know, those professional skills I really don't have. I even am considering offering video services to visitors to document their adventure while they're here. Then, of course, I can take people on coffee farm visits, trips to the coffee park, local towns, things like that. So to have the help maintain the car and equipment and such, it means a change. Right now, these are mostly thoughts, but I'm considering it. I would be extremely interested in knowing your thoughts and opinions. If you think any of this would be useful, let me know in the comments. Or if you think it's just a stupid idea, you can tell me that too. Just be kind. While you're at it, <laughs> Remember to like, subscribe, share, etc., etc., etc. All those things I'm always forgetting. Thank you all, especially thanks to that loyal core of supporters of this channel. See you in the next Coffee Time Live.